Hello everyone, my name is Rashmi Prabha. I am from Computer Science Department. In this video series, we are going to discuss one of the most important concepts of relational database management that is entity relationship model. Now, before starting with this concept, first we are supposed to learn why we are learning a model in database, what is the use of entity relationship model and what are the different components that are used to make a entity relationship diagram. So, before starting with the concept, this is a sample example to learn what is entity relationship diagram. Now, in this diagram, you can see there are lots of symbols. One symbol is known as this oval, okay. So, this oval is used to represent attribute. Next symbol is your rectangle. So, rectangle is used to represent entity. And then we have diamond shape, which is used to represent a relationship. Now, the full form of ERD is entity relationship diagram. A diagram which is used to represent relationship between different entities. Entities can be one, entity can be two or entities can be more than one. So in this diagram you can see there is a vehicle and there is one student. So what is the relationship between vehicle and a student? A student owns vehicle. Next relationship is a student drives vehicle. So what is the student? Who is the student? So we can say a student is a real world entity. Now, what is the meaning of real world entity? We can also say an uh, entity which is having some physical existence. Like I am a faculty. Okay, you can see me, you can hear me. Even if I am moving my hand, you are able to see my hand. So, these all are my attributes or I can say these all are my properties. Similarly, how I am going to identify what are the properties of a student? So, I can say a student is having some name. So, name can be first name, last name or middle name. Similarly, a student can be identified by its date of birth, by his or her age, by his student code and by his address. So, these all are the properties which actually exist in the physical environment because if I say a student name is Abhishek, so the name is also an attribute which is used to identify that particular student. Similarly, when I say vehicle, so what is the type of vehicle, what is the model of vehicle, what is the color of this vehicle? So what we are doing, anything in this real world which is having some physical existence like you can touch it, you can have some weight, you can feel it. So these all are the entities in terms of representing a physical or real world entity in the relational model. Similarly, if I say, ki, okay, a student owns a vehicle or a student drives a vehicle. So now you can see there are something written like one and so what are these? These are the mapping between a student and the vehicle. Like one student can own many vehicle. A student can be having car, a student can be have a bike, a student can be have a, um, some, uh, a student maybe have some another vehicle. So like this, a one student can have many vehicle. Similarly, a student can drive many different types of vehicle and so many students can drive so many different types of vehicle. So these are known as the relationship. Now, one by one, we are going to understand what are these symbols and how we are going to represent it. So, the first thing that we are supposed to learn in entity relationship diagram is the what is entity relationship model. So, now in the diagram, you can see I have one entity. The name of the entity is a student. So, this is one entity. Similarly, there can be lots of entity like one, two, three, four and so on. So, when we are combining lots of entity, then it is not a single entity, it is known as entity set. So, what is a set? We can say a set is a collection of ordered or unordered elements like I am telling 1, 2, 3. So, this is a set of numbers. Similarly, when there are lots of entity and we are combining those, those all entities in one unit, then we can say this is known as entity set. So, ER model is used to model the logical view of a system. This is a very important point. What is the meaning of logical view? Why it has not written the physical view? Because when I say physical view, so that is the relational table. So a table which is in the form of matrix and which is having some rows and column. So like if you are using MySQL, yeah, MSSQL, yeah, Oracle. So these all are the different types of software which is used to implement some database related queries. So, they, they all are the physical view. Why? Because we can see the tables in our system. But when we say a model, so model is used to represent the logical view. How different tables are, uh, how different tables are related, how different databases are connected, and what are the attributes of different tables, how those another fields are related. 
so that is why entity relationship is known as logical view of the system now just now we have seen what is an entity an entity may be an object with a physical existence what is the meaning of physical existence which is present in the real world like person car house or if you are watching me so i am the entity for you and if a single person is watching you on the youtube by his cell phone or by his laptop so you can hear me you can see me so that is also an entity okay so it is having some object which is having some existence like a company a job or a university or a course and so on an entity is an object of entity type and a set of all entities is known as entity set so first of all you are supposed to learn what is entity agar entity ko simple bhasha mein samjhe to main aapko batau ki aap agar aapke paas ek cell phone hai now you can say this is a cell phone so this cell phone is having some weight it is having some model it is having some existence and you can also say this cell phone so this is an entity why because it is having height width weight and so on similarly if i say a person a person is also identified by its height weight and so and so on so they all are entity because they all are the object which exists in the real world so i hope this point is clear so what is entity now moving to the next what are the symbols which are present in entity and this is how you are supposed to understand all the symbols because you are supposed to model and entity relationship diagram so the first important component of entity relationship diagram is entity which is represented by a rectangle and this is an example like a student is an entity just now we have seen a student can have id name age so and so on similarly entity is a, uh, one of the type of entity is weak entity in the further coming video i will explain you what is weak entity but till now you just understand if a rectangle is if we are having an entity which is having double rectangle so this is double rectangle then it is known as weak entity as for example assignment okay the third component is attribute so what is an attribute attribute is represented by oval shape like the example is roll number next component is your relationship which is which is denoted by the diamond symbol like i have written shapes in next component is the key attribute which is an oval but in the oval the attribute is having one underline and that is why it is a key attribute so these are the very basic simple symbols which are supposed to be learned when you are going to model a entity relationship diagram so uh, the main symbols are rectangle which is a entity another symbol is the relationship that is diamond another symbol is the oval so these are the three symbols which are used to represent entity relationship and diagram sorry entity relationship and attribute okay now one by one we will see what are the different types of entities what are the different types of relationship and what are the different types of attributes in the upcoming video but going to the next video i will just quickly summarize what we have seen just now okay so see an entity relationship model consists of five basic component so the first component is entity so what is an entity a real world object that exists physically and it is distinguishable from other objects like a department department is having its name department is having total number of employee similarly employee what is the name of the employee what is the id of employee and so on now second component just now we have seen relationship and relationship is an association or bond that exists between one or more entities so like a student owns a vehicle a student enrolls into a course a teacher teaches a class so that is how entities are connected by the relationship the third component is the attribute so what is an attribute these are known as features so what is a feature if you are looking me right now so you can see i am having hands i am having two eyes so and so so these are my features so these are the features that is that's just a logical thing but when i say ki this is a pen so this pen is having its length it is having some weight so these are the attributes of this pen and the fourth component that we have seen is entity set so entity set is a collection of similar entities like if we are having a college database in the college database what entities we can have we can have a student we can have course we can have teacher and so on similarly 
if there are lots of entities then there are lots of relationships which will exist between those entities a collection of similar relationship between two or more entity set is called a relationship set as an example the set of all working relation that exists between the employees and the departments is called working relationship so one employee is working in several departments so these are the different types of relationship set so what we have learned we have learned a basic introduction of what is entity relationship diagram what are the symbols and the definition for all the entity relation and attributes and how we are going to represent a entity relationship diagram so in the next video we are going to discuss what are the different types of entity thank you so much for watching us